Do you find, Sandra, in working with all of your or many of your senior level executive clients that there is at times a mismatch between what you are targeting and how you are presenting your value? In other words, you might have the right value, but it's not really for the right organization or conversely, right organization, but your value statement is off. Do you find that's a common bottleneck or problem for people? It's practically symptomatic to the executive level. <laughs> that's how common it is. So, and this is how I started to realize that. Um, and this is a very specific problem for the executive level. So it's a headhunter and I did finance recruiting. Um, if I was talking to a CFO and that CFO was looking to hire, say, a controller, that CFO could give me a solid list of skills and experiences that they were looking for and the experience they needed. And then good little headhunter would go out there and go find these people and deliver them on a silver platter. Well, the top three anyway, you never wanna be the fourth with a headhunter, but anyway, that's another story. And good chance that, that they would hire one of those people that, that the criteria they had set for me is pretty much on target to who they would hire. If I was working with a CFO, or excuse me, a CEO that was looking to hire a CFO, well, they don't do what they did. They didn't just do that job, you know, a year ago, so they know exactly which skills and experience they're looking for. So they would tell me a list of things that they wanted, and I go out there and I look for it. And I remember my first year in headhunting, I, I had 10 CFO searches. Over half of them ended up hiring people that had little or none of the things that they told me they were looking for. So that gave me pause. I said, well, why is that? And so I started, when, when I sit down to do these senior level searches, I'd ask, why do you want that? Why do you want that? And it turned out the reasoning didn't really make a lot of sense. Well, you know, the person that we worked with at the last company, you know, he, this was his experience and this, so that's the experience we want and he did a great job. Um, that makes no sense. And so I stopped asking my clients what experience they wanted and started asking them what they were trying to make happen. So when I, get the definition of what they needed to make happen, I go do my search that way and find people based on what they needed to, what they made happen. And then before we would send them into an interview, I would sit down and I would say, we have to do a full hour interview prep because we need to take you out of the conversation of all the stuff you've done and focus your conversation on the problem you solve. So to your question, it's practically symptomatic that they don't know what experience they're looking for at the executive level. Um, they do, however, know what problem they're looking to solve. Sometimes when they go into the search and sometimes they know it when they hear it. So they might hear oh, wait, this person's an expert in maximizing top and bottom lines in tight margin environments. Wait a second, we're a tight margin environment, and that's actually what we need to do. And you might start talking about how, you know, you, you strengthen and scale um, financial organizations for, for global expansion. Wait a second, that's what we're looking to make happen. Even though none of that experience may have been the experience that they thought they needed in the beginning, your experience versus what they thought, they now are hearing a value or wait a second, that's what we need to have happen. And then that's when those matches start occurring. That's when one person clicks into another person and not only is able to say, I think this is the right person for us, but actually be able to articulate and make a business case when it comes down to offer stage to all the other stakeholders as to why.